Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Asus ROG Strix Arion. This is an enclosure for uh, M2 drives and it can accommodate all sizes. And to complete the test we are also going to use a small drive here, it's a 2TB Western Digital Black. I am calling it small because it's the 2230 format, so it's the smallest SSD drive. This is going to go in in a Asus ROG Ally handheld, but nonetheless this should have up to 5000 megabytes per second read speed, so should be rather fast. So we are going to test the enclosure, take a look at the enclosure, we are going to install this and see how it works. Now we are going to open the box, let's see what we get inside, alright. So this should be the enclosure itself and it's pretty heavy because this is made out of uh, alloy so it has cooling properties and then in the box we get other stuff such as this cardboard where we get a small clip and this small clip is very important for us to have I'm going to take it from here because this small clip has two functions you are going to be able to open this by pushing this hole here which opens this cap and it also acts as a screwdriver for untwisting this screw here so you can actually take it out and install your SSD drive inside then we can remove this plastic here Actually, it's a piece of paper with ocean here. Because you need to initiate your drive, that's mostly Windows stuff. And then you have here mounting screws for all your SSD drive types. And then you are going to use this screw to put it back together with this included clip. In the box, we also get a support for this, so it can be used as a holder for this, it has a bracket, a carabinier, so you can fix this to something with velcro and it has a frame that fixes around the drive and then you can use this to actually tie it up to something also in the box you get USB cables and we get some leaflets here with a quick installation guide we get another user manual and warranty card in 19 languages so a lot of stuff to read but you know that we don't read the manuals unless we do something wrong and then we are sad that we didn't read them in the first place now we are going to install the test drive here the drive tiny drive as I told you in the beginning very small so this will go in just like this it's going to stay like that and then with this screw here it has a small indent at the middle that indent must slide like this on the SSD drive now you are going to press it and screw it by hand and now we are going to use the tool provided by ASUS to fully screw it in don't overdo it just gently until it goes into position and it's screwed and that's it's okay and now we can put the cap back the cap is very interesting because it has thermal pads and they vary in thickness and position and those depends on the type of drive that you can install here so they should touch all the type of drives that you can actually install inside so I'm going to put the cap back the cap will going to is going to actually clip into position and that was it it didn't clip because of the thermal pads but it's fully secured so the drive is now fully installed and we have the USB Type-C 
because I'm going to use this with a USB Type-C device, I'm going to use the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable here. Alright, and now we should be able to initialize the disk, format it and use it and test it. And we are going to use it with the ROG Ally because this has very fast USB so it shouldn't be a bottleneck for the SSD drive and it has a pretty powerful CPU so that should not interfere with the testing performance. As you can see this has RGB lightning, uh, this should be configurable from the ASUS Armory Crate. Right, so we are going to initialize the drive. Now we are going to go into settings and search for the disk management, but it's Windows 11, so if you search for disk, it's going to suggest you create and format hard disk. So this is the old administrative tools, and here it says that we have a disk that is not initialized, and I'm going to press OK here and it's initializing and now it's online you can see here that it's not allocated and right click by holding here and i'm going to say new simple volume next i'm going to leave it by that the full size of the drive assign a letter all right and then perform quick format ntfs because it's windows next finish so now it's partitioning the drive and now I have seen a new drive here and now I'm going to open Kristen Mark and I should be able here to select the drive I'm going to restart that and now I can see the D drive you can see and I'm going to press all and I'm going to let it run and see the performance of this drive so the test is over and you can see that the top speed in uh, reading it's around 1000 megabytes per second and the write speed is also similar with 999.99 so I've guessed that there is a limit somewhere between the USB chips, the cable and so on so there is definitely something that is bottlenecking the transmission speed but I'm going to repeat this test after I actually install this SSD drive directly into this Asus Ally handheld but that's going to be another video and I'm going to show you how to migrate your OS from this handheld to the bigger SSD drive and now I'm curious about other things so I'm going to open the Armory Crate and I'm going to go to content and I already have here a notification for the update center and I get here something device component ROG let me zoom in for you to see better so ROG Strix Arion Aura Kit so probably that's going to control the RGB here so I'm going to install that update, I'm going to press on update all and I'm going to wait for it to finish. So after the update is done, you can go back and then we are going to go back to settings and I'm going to go to Aura Sync and you can see here that I have the ROG Ally device and now it sees this drive and you can sync them if you want to, but if I select this I should be able to go to aura effects and now it's on rainbow but if I click on static I should be able to change it yes and now it's red but if you are not a fan of RGB of course you can set it to dark off or other things but this is armory crate and armory crate is great because just changing the color or your device can take ages you get the idea with great because this is sometimes very very boring slow and after eons I have managed to change the LED to static and now I can turn them actually off and it's probably going to take some eons no this was actually much much more faster the idea is that you can actually sync the devices, so if you plug this into your LOG Ally, you can sync the colors of your joysticks here, 
which I have turned off with this so they are all turned off and that's much better and you can set the effects here if you want to I'm not going to do that I prefer them off especially on this kind of devices because I don't want to waste battery power on just having rainbow LEDs so that was it for now you get the idea this is actually fast but not as fast as the driving side it should be five times faster so you are limited by the USB or the interface or something like that you can change the colors if you have armory crate you can use armory crate on your PC of course or on handhelds uh, as long as you have Asus armory crate installed which is a big bloatware and works really really slow and with that installed and the test done that was it for now i hope that you have enjoyed this video i almost want to mention that this is super super cool you can see that it's getting slightly warm around here but because this is full aluminium dissipates the heat really nice not that the ssd drive inside gets too hot but in this uh, Encasing is never going to get hot because it's dissipated outside and with the thermal pads they are actually doing a great job and I actually like the design of this being metal and it has here a place where you can actually tie it up to something and with the rubber garment that you can put around it's a rather nice device uh, it's something like two times two and a half times more expensive than a regular encasing for such type of drives but the quality is definitely much more better than on the plastic simple ones so oh, until my next video where actually i'm going to migrate the os from that to this and this is going to go in be sure to follow my other uploads and until then see you and bye 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 bye